In this video, we are going to learn how to set up Jenkins using Ansible Playbook. If you look at this diagram, what we are going to do is we are going to create a new EC2 instance using Ansible Playbook. Once we create that new EC2 instance, we are going to uh, connect to that EC2 instance using SSH keys. We are going to establish SSH keys between Ansible as well as the new EC2 instance. Once we set up SSH keys and then we are going to um, set up Jenkins on that EC2 instance. So how are we going to do that? We are going to create uh, Java playbook, Jenkins playbook, and then Maven playbook. Okay, so we are going to set up these three software on that Jenkins EC2 instance using Ansible. Okay, and then these are the steps which we are going to do in a sequential manner, right? Awesome, so let's get started. So this is my website, uh, folks, coachdevops.com. I will be posting the link right below the video as well, okay? So if you look at uh, my EC2 console, yes, this is my Ansible uh, management machine, right? So this is where I have set up Ansible, and uh, this is that one, right? If you see here, this is where I have already installed Ansible, right? Okay, so if you wanted to learn how to set up Ansible, you can definitely watch my one of my videos, okay? All right, and then the way we are going to approach this is, yes, we have to first create a new EC2 instance, right? So for that, we have to uh, create a playbook, okay? So I have already provided that playbook over here, okay? So again, I also have a video on how to create new EC2 instance using Ansible in AWS uh, Cloud. So you can definitely watch that video as well in order to learn how to uh, create new EC2 instance using Ansible. But I'm going to get started. Okay, if you see here, yes, I already have uh, the playbook created for creating a new EC2 instance, especially Ubuntu EC2 instance. So we are going to use that. If you want, I can quickly show you this playbook. So this is the playbook, right? Uh, you know, these are the uh, variables we have declared this is the AMI for Ubuntu EC2 instance, right? This is the region, this is the security group. Um, so I want to create a new EC2 instance where we are going to uh, set up Jenkins, right? So yes, for that, we have to open up port 8080, right? So I'm also opening up port 22 so that we can SSH into it. And then of course I have opened up port 80 as well if you want to install Apache on that EC2 instance, right? And then this is for launching it and then this is for tagging it, right? So the name of uh, our EC2 instance would be something like that. So this is a tag I'm adding it, okay? So perfect. So let's go ahead and then, uh, you know, execute this playbook so that the new EC2 instance will be created. Once the new EC2 instance is created and then we are going to uh, establish SSH keys between Ansible management node and then the new EC2 instance so that Ansible can communicate or, or Ansible can securely connect to this EC2 instance in order to uh, install Java, Jenkins, and Maven, okay? All right, perfect. You see here, so we were able to create the new EC2 instance. We should be able to see that in our AWS console. Click on refresh. Wow, see here? So this is the new EC2 instance which, which we just provisioned, right? So what is the next step? So as I explained to you earlier, uh, our new EC2 instance is created. The goal of this video is yes, to set up Jenkins, right? But before that, we have to establish SSH keys uh, between Ansible management node and then the target node, okay? So let's quickly do that. Let's quickly connect to the target EC2 instance. So we are going to open up two uh, git bash windows or item or party whatever you call one is to connect to ansible management node and then another one is to connect to the target ec2 instance okay so let's connect to this target ec2 instance because this is where we are going to upload the ssh keys right so let's connect to it okay so I'm connecting to my target EC2 instance. So this is our target EC2 instance, right? Perfect. And then I'm going to move my Ansible management node to my left. OK, 
Okay. So this is the Ansible management node. And then this one is our target EC2 instance. Perfect. So what we have to do is, yes, we have to create SSH keys in the Ansible management node, and then we have to upload the SSH keys, especially the public keys into the target EC2 instance, right? So let me quickly go ahead and then create keys. So that is the command to create keys. Awesome, so the keys has been created and I can uh, copy the public key, right? So this is the key. So where we, where we are going to upload? So we are going to upload into this directory. So this is the directory, right? Authorized keys folder. And yeah, so don't mess around with this key. So this is the key, you know, you, have, you would have used initially, um, you know, to use to connect, right? So let's not mess around with this key. We just have to upload this public key. So paste that and then come out of it. Perfect. And then you can quickly check whether you are able to SSH from Ansible management node into the target EC2 instance, right? So let's go ahead and then say SSH. And this is IP address 172.31.30.39. So yes, perfect. See here, so now I was able to SSH from Ansible management node into the target EC2 instance, right? So you can confirm that. See here, so this kind of confirms that the IP address of the target EC2 instance, perfect. So let me exit to go back to the Ansible uh, management machine, right? So perfect. So, so, so far, so good. So basically what we were able to do now, we were able to establish SSH communication between Ansible management node as well as the target node, right? So now I should be able to, um, you know, uh, execute the playbook on the target EC2 instance, right? Perfect. So what is the next step? The next step is uh, go ahead and then create a Java playbook, right? So click on this particular link because yes, if you want to set up Jenkins, you have to install Java first, right? So this is the sequence we are going to follow, right? So we are going to uh, install Java playbook and then we are going to install Jenkins playbook and then you can install Maven playbook, right? All right, so let me click on this first playbook where we are going to, uh, you know, create a Java playbook in order to install Java on the target AC2 instance. So we have already done this, isn't it? We already created keys, uploaded the keys, right? So we have already done that. All we have to do is um, make an entry in the inventory file, right? So this is very important, right? So if you see here, yes, uh, if Ansible wants to talk to any of the server, right? So you have to have an entry in the inventory file, okay? So, so this is the file, right? So let's quickly go ahead and then make an entry in the inventory file. So, let me go back to my Ansible management node. So this is the one. So let's go there. So this is the inventory file. Okay. So what I wanted to do, I want to create a, a you know, entry here. I want to create a group called, let's say my group. Okay. And then I'm going to mention the target IP address, right? So target EC2 instance IP address 172.31.30.39. Right? So you'll have to mention something like that. And then uh, we have to mention this also, right? So this is nothing but you're you're saying that, yes, you want to connect to this target EC2 instance by using SSH keys, right? So that is what this says. And this is the username, right? The default username for Ubuntu is Ubuntu. Um, and then you see here, there is also uh, the location of uh, Python 3, right? So for example, if you copy that, if you go ahead and then execute that, so this kind of tells you that this is where Python 3 got installed, right? So basically, um, since Ansible is based in Python language, right? Ansible is based on Python language. So Ansible would use Python language in order to execute any playbooks, okay? So you'll have to mention that. So let me come out of this, okay? So that is what that means over there, right? Perfect. And then let's save that, okay? So very good, right? So so that's pretty much on that inventory file. The next step is to create a Java playbook, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and then create a Java playbook, install Java. We are going to install Java 11, 
okay so so this is a very simple playbook just copy this okay so if you see here yes we are going to install java 11 and then uh, so basically we have two different tasks right this is for updating it right sudo apt get update similar to that and then this is going to install uh, java right so that's it right so let's come out of that playbook so before I execute the playbook, let's quickly check if Java is installed here, obviously, right? This is a brand new ECT instance. This is not going to have Java installed, right? So perfect, you see here, Java is not found. So let's quickly go ahead and then execute this playbook, which is going to install Java, right? See here now, it is asking, right? It is asking, okay, I want to, uh, you know, I want to connect to that EC2 instance. Why? Because if you see here, we have mentioned the host name right in the playbook we have mentioned the host name right so so what ansible is going to do okay so ansible is like you know okay so this is the group name right this is a group name and then where it is going to pick up the group name it is going to pick up the group name from the inventory file right and then whatever the host name attached to that group name it is going to ssh into it and then it is going to start installing uh, the java right so that is what it is so go ahead and then type yes. So now Ansible is in the process of um, executing the playbook on the target EC2 instance, right? So as you can see here, it, ex it already executed the first task. Right now it is in the process of executing the second task, which is to install Java. Fantastic. Right, so the playbook got executed. So let's quickly check whether the Java got installed Wow, see here, so Java version got installed. Perfect, right? So, so now we can move on to the next uh, task, which is to set up a Jenkins playbook, right? So let me click on this one. So now we are going to create a Jenkins playbook. So install Jenkins.aml. And then this is the playbook, right? So what is important is this one, right? The host name. So that is what we have mentioned uh, or the host group name, right? This is what we have mentioned in the inventory file, right? And then these are the tasks, right? So these are like pretty standard uh, tasks, right? For, for installing Jenkins on Ubuntu machine, right? Okay. And then go ahead and then save that. And then let's quickly execute the uh, Jenkins playbook here. Wow, see here? So Jenkins got installed. Let's quickly verify. Um, you can actually execute this curl command just to know that whether, you know, Jenkins is running on port 8080. Wow, see here? So this kind of confirms that Jenkins got installed. But yeah, you know, you can also access in the browser as well, right? So copy the uh, the target EC2 instance public DNS name, go to browser and then colon 8080. Wow, see here? So, so that's the Jenkins, right? So we have to put in the uh, sudo cat command to get the password and then that's the password, which is a one-time thing. So if you want, yeah, you can go ahead and then install the plugins, right? So yeah, so you know, that's how you would install Jenkins on the target EC2 instance, right? And then yeah, if you want to install Maven, yeah, you know, you can simply go ahead and then copy this playbook. Right, so this is what important. And then you can go ahead and then execute this playbook to install Maven. And we will also validate that real quick. Awesome, see, Maven got installed and then if you can go ahead and then say Maven version, it is going to tell you, right, that's a Maven version, right? So yeah, so that's it guys, you know, that's how you can set up Jenkins using Ansible playbook on Ubuntu EC2 instance. Thank you for watching.